You have to line both holes centered so that your Check fast wheels can make fit sure it sound holes. right, boys. That is very important. And this 45 is very important. Good afternoon. My name is Marcus Moniz and I'm the Clyde Beer Production Manager for Handle Metal Studs Corporation. And today we're going to talk about how to put a truss together in our factory. Safety is a very is a high priority for us, so before we get started, I want to talk about what our PPE, proper PPE is for this uh, cabin assembly. So first, we have obviously our safety glasses to prevent any you know, uh, uh, material or metal from kicking up into the face. Uh, we have our earplugs because we have very loud, uh, high, high uh, noise due to the uh, impact drills and hammering and the uh, impact gloves to protect from any cuts uh, while do doing the assembly. Oh, last but not least, we also have uh, safety or steel toe boots or steel toe shoes on so that in case anything falls off the tables. So a truss by definition is a framework used to hold up or support a floor during a construction process. So to help me assemble our truss today, I have Andy and Rio. So guys, welcome to our shop. So Andy, uh, just question, what kind of tools we'll be using today to assemble our trucks? You're gonna need an impact drill, clamps, you're gonna need a hammer, and that'll get you going to assemble this truss. And how will we actually be assembling these, these trusses? Or what, what fasteners or whatever will we be using? We're gonna, use in, we're gonna be using 10 and 5 8 screws. So before we get started, we start all our day, or we start our assembly based on our engineering approved drawing. Now what we're looking for when we're looking at the drawing is we're verifying our, skin our product material. code, the overall layout of the members, as well as the orientation of each member. So which way they're supposed to be in relation to this drawing. Once we have, once we have this drawing and our, our fabricators are understanding of how this is supposed to be laid out, they go ahead and lay it out on the table and they can get started with assembly. So a very important, important part in building this trust is that it has a number system. Each trust has a number system. Each panel, verticals or diagonals have a number system. You want to make sure that all the numbers on the board are facing up. The reason why they're facing up is because they have manufactured holes that we have to hit with our fasteners. The circles around these holes indicate that we have to do two screws on each side. Once you lay it all out, you make sure that all of your directions are going in the way they're supposed to be on the blueprint. Our schedule of material, our general layout, and the orientation of the members. this whole trust is that you have to line both holes centered so that your fasteners can fit both holes. That is very important. You make sure your holes are aligned. You make sure the holes are aligned. After you're done doing all the fasteners on this side, you want to make sure that you put all of your directionals laying down the way they're supposed to when you go to put the truss together so that it don't get caught up. So this next part right here, once you got the truss, we already came to the other side of the table. 
But once you got the truss built halfway, you want to slide this truss all the way over here. And this 45 is very important because this truss has to hit this corner. And this corner has to be very flush with the two by four on the 45. That's very important. If you don't do that, the truss will offset. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to put all of your diagonal hooks inside so you don't get caught up and make it more difficult. Coming back to this corner, if you're working this side of the table, it is very important that you put your screw in first so that it doesn't move any anymore on you. Once that is in, you can continue putting the truss together using your trigger. You don't want to be fighting with the truss all day, so these use them to your advantage. It's these right here, all the threes, they're in your number system. You want to hit all the verticals first, that way your truss is as straight as possible and it has no bends or kinks in it. And you want to go again with your verticals. Your verticals and your horizontals are next. Assembly of a truss in our shop. It's quick and easy. The entire process is about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, I'd like to thank Rigo and Andy for participating in this video, and we'll see you next time when we bring you another how-to video from NL Metal Stunts Corporation. For the shape, the future.